Hi everyone and welcome to Password State Video Tutorials. In this video I will show you how to configure the Password State Remote Session Launcher Utility and then we'll use it to connect to one of our Windows 7 machines. The Remote Session Launcher tool in Password State allows you to easily connect to machines on your network without having to enter in a username and password. This can make this repetitive task much easier and it's all audited and completely secure. You can use the Remote Session Launcher to connect to Windows-based machines, Linux or Cisco switches. There are a few steps we'll need to do to configure this as a once-off process, but once it's complete you should be able to remote into any machine on your network with one single click. The first thing we'll need to do is to make sure that we have your hosts imported into Password State. If you have a look under the Hosts menu, you'll see that I've got one machine in here called Win7 Work 1. It's a Windows 7 machine and it's configured to talk on port 3389 which is the default port for remote desktop. In this screen you can add in as many hosts as you like by clicking the add button or you can use our discovery process to automatically import all of your hosts into password stay easily. Next we'll need to set up a password record in password state with an account that has permission to remote into all of your machines. As you can see, I've created one under the desktop administrator accounts called Ashley Sanford Domain Account. And I've configured this as an Active Directory account and it's got my domain slash username and the current password which matches in Active Directory. Next, we'll need to configure the Remote Session Launcher API key by going into the Preferences area, Remote Session Launcher, and Generate New Key. We'll then click Save and Close, which will lead us into Step 4, which is installing the utility on your machine. Okay, for the next step, we need to go into the Preferences area and Remote Session Credentials. And under this page here, there's three things we'll need to do. The first is to install the utility on your machine by clicking this link here. It will download a small little utility through your browser, and then we can simply launch it. And you'll obviously need to be an administrator to install this. So we'll click Next, Next, uh, add in your password state URL, and Next, and that drops the utility on your machine. You'll need to do that per machine that you want to launch this utility from. The next thing we'll need to do is to configure your browser to support the remote session launcher by clicking on the configure browser support link here and then selecting the appropriate connection type from this list. When you click this as a once-off process you'll be presented with uh, an external protocol request um, this may look slightly different depending on which web uh, browser you're using, but you'll just need to tick Remember My Choice and launch the application. We can then close that down, and the last thing we need to do is to add in a remote session query, and the purpose of this is to tell the launcher which account can log into which host, depending on which filters you choose on this screen. So for this example, I'm going to create one for Windows-based machines, I'm going to leave the host name blank because I want it to be able to remote into any host. I don't want to lock it down to a specific host. We can then choose the Windows operating system. And if we want to get a little bit more granular, we can uh, reduce it down to a specific operating system. And here we have the connection type we'd like this credential to use. So I'll leave this at RDP. And we'll link it to the password that I created in step two of this tutorial which was uh, HaloX slash ASAND, who's got permissions to log into any Windows machine on the network. So now what we can go ahead and do is uh, do a demonstration of how the remote session launcher works. If we now go into our tools menu and we'll go to remote session launcher, we can search for a host in here. And all we should have to do then is click on the link for that host. And you'll notice straight away 
that I've got a pop-up block for my browser. So we'll need to allow that as well. And we'll always allow pop-ups from this uh, URL and click finished. So if we go back here now, we should be able to launch that and it should connect and log you straight into the machine without the need of putting in a username and password. So, and as you can see, if I just quickly go, Ashley Sanford is the person that I'm logged in as. So I'll just log off of this machine again here. Make that disappear. Can minimize that. But we can also launch it from um, either the hosts page. So if you find the host in here, you can click the link and it will launch you straight into it. Or if you go to your passwords home, you've got a couple of grids in here that you may have configured. And so you can search for a host under here and connect directly to it. Room 7. So we can uh, directly launch the remote session launcher from here or we can do it from recent host as well. So that concludes this lesson. Hopefully that gets you logging into your machines a little bit faster. And thank you very much for watching.